morning everyone. Happy Friday. I hope you are doing well today. I don't have a time planned for today or this weekend in general. I do plan on going and getting the um, weekend vlog from last week, going and get it loaded for tomorrow. So hopefully it'll be uploaded and it's scheduled and it'll go out on time. I have been having trouble getting videos to upload here recently. I'm not exactly sure why I had one happen this last, what was it? I was supposed to go out on Wednesday morning because I was off the day. It was uploading and then about halfway through I uh, went back and checked on it and it had the oops error message. You know, didn't say what was wrong or why it didn't do it, it just said oops. So it went up late Thursday or Thursday morning instead of Wednesday um, like I wanted it to because it was only going to be a day late and it ended up being two days late. So again, I'm not sure what is going on with that. And like I said, my internet was working fine, it didn't have any problems, and then that happened. So that's two videos in a row that that has occurred and it's kind of making me worry that I'm going to have to stay on top of things and figure out what's going on and all of that. So hopefully that's not going to happen today because the weekend vlog that's going up tomorrow, um, it's almost an hour long. A lot of stuff went on last weekend, so you might want to have a drink and something to eat or be doing something, I'm not exactly sure, but I enjoyed it. It was fairly easy to put together, unlike the previous one where it was a challenge from the get-go. <laughs> so there is that. Um, so I know I want to do that. I'm gonna try to get some type of schedule um, for the summer for me to make sure I'm filming and not filming of the day, editing of the day and getting it loaded the day of because I know when work does get back, I'm not going to have as much time and I'm enjoying getting up three videos for you guys a week. If I can get other videos to take off on my channel, I might be able to do more but I have to have a set schedule of when I'm filming, when I'm editing and be able to meet that type of demand. I'm not sure if Friday, well I won't have Friday morning um, vlogs when school returns because I have to get ready for work and that type of thing. So I know that will go out. Um, so I'd have like a Friday evening check in with you guys and then I would have Saturday and Sunday like normal. So what I am thinking for now, and I probably can keep it on at least Saturday and Sunday, that I need to film 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, no later than 11, um, and then I'll have time to edit. But I like keeping my Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedule going on. Um, that seems to work pretty well. If I can get some other type of videos to take off, then I might be able to supplement, you know, another day or something. Um, it's all about work demand and what time I have. You know, we don't know going into this uh, school year what it's going, it's going to look like. So I can't guarantee on that, um, but at least three, two to three videos a week uh, when school starts. So I have to do primarily majority of my filming um, on the weekend, um, depending on during the week as to how tired I am when I get home from work as to what type of energy I'll have to film during the week. But if I get in the habit of you know coming in, eating dinner, and then go film, I might be able to do that. So I'll have to play around with that. But at least Saturday and Sunday, at least film 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, and then no later than 11, hopefully. All depends on my workouts. So if my workouts, I'm going, like Sunday, I usually walk with my best friend, and then I go to Walmart, so I can probably keep that, and then come home, unload whatever, a few things that I needed from Walmart, and then go immediately and film. I might put that into practice. So hopefully no later than 11 get my filming done, and then try to edit out. So that is kind of my goal and my game plan. We'll see how well that, <laughs> that works, but hopefully in the month of July, we have about a week and a half left of June. Maybe I can get into that so it doesn't feel so rushed and condensed and all of that. So that is my goal with that. Um, if you guys can leave me maybe 
some ideas of what you would like to see. I know I've tried to do first impressions videos. Those really didn't take off. I've tried to do like a book and look and makeup inspired look. That didn't really take off. I've tried different ranking videos um, to do like to do something different than just the normal wrap up. Those really didn't do so hot. So what are things that you like that you want to see because when I do try new ideas on the channel, um, getting two or three views doesn't lead me to want to do it. It makes me feel like the audience, you guys, are not wanting to watch it. So then, I'm, again, I feel like I'm left with unboxings, TBRs, and wrap-ups. And I'm doing more reviews now. And I, I want to continue with that because that's part of reading, you know, when you're sharing, you review books. So... That's not going to go away. I want to do more of that. If there are things in my reviews I'm not going as much into depth, I do try to do spoiler free reviews for things. Uh, so if you want or are intrigued by the book, you don't know everything that goes on in the book. Um, but if there's other things you want me to talk about in my reviews, leave that down below and I will start including them um, as well. So I know I'm going to hopefully have at least one review a week, um, depending on what's going on. So I need to start scheduling things. It's hard to schedule unboxings because I never know when I'm going to get them. But I want to start planning that a little bit better. I do want, like I said, do reviews. I'm going to do my wrap-ups. I know this month I've also got to do an update on my TBR uh, project, as well as my Romanceopoly um, readathon. So I know i got to fit those two in, I've got to do a wrap up and then I need to start um, my July TBR and get that up. So I've got a week and a half to get at least those four videos done. Yay! Um, and also I need to do another kind of DNF slash declutter type video or unhaul. Um, so I need to do that as well. So I've got to try to fit them all. They may not all end up in June. It may go over into July, but it's for the last three months um, to make sure I'm trying to do quarterly updates on things and all of that. So yeah, I'm excited. I need to go get some work done and housework and that type of lovely stuff. And until my next check-in, I hope you guys have a great one. Hey guys, I realized after I did my first check-in with you guys this morning. I went and got some work done um, for the uploading process and I realized it dawned on me that I did not give you any reading goals. <laughs> my mind is whew, out there this morning. Um, I do have my planner um, that I started in January. Please let me know down below if you want me to bring back my uh, bookish planning uh, with me series because uh, I did start, um, these are kind of like weekly ones, um, I started doing them, some did okay-ish, some did not, because it's kind of like the same thing um, that I you know, do, my TBR list, nonfiction, you know, series that I've completed, series I want to complete, my uh, TBR stuff from Mansopoly, Readathon, and that type of thing. So let me know down below if you want me to continue to do that because that was a lot of work to film and um, put all the decorations and stuff. I don't mind doing it, but I this is one of my favorites. I love this scheme. The colors and everything just speak to me. But um, let me know down below if that, like I said, if that's something you want me to bring back. I do want to go on and do some planning um, for the rest of this month and then into July. Uh, like I said, I don't mind doing the weekly ones or I could do monthly. I'm not sure what exactly you want me to look because I don't really do the planning well. So that's kind of how one monthly overview looked. I mean, I can do that, but like I said, some things I can't guarantee is going to happen. Um, but that was a series I didn't mind doing, but again, it's all about your engagement. If it's not something you want to see, then I'm not going to continue making because it does take some time to put all the pieces together when I do this type of video. But I enjoy doing it. I just want you guys to enjoy watching it.
So there is that. So on to some reading goals, or let's check in from the last one. I finished Well of Ascension. I love it. I need to get my uh, review for that one. I need to type out kind of my thoughts so that when I do the review video, it will be um, cohesive. It will sound at least more intelligent than me just talking randomly about it. So I do try to make notes so it keeps me on track and I actually sound a little bit more intelligent than just a rambling mess. But I um, started into uh, earlier this week The Hero of Ages. I am on, I believe, chapter 8. So my goal by the end of this weekend at least to get through part 1, which is on chapter 13, or goes through chapter 13 and then go in it. So I would like to get this section right here read. I probably could do that um, by the end of Saturday, maybe even into today. It depends on how active I am filming and editing and that type of thing as to how much I will get read today. But I would like to get that one section and part of part two read by the end of this weekend. Um, the next book that I want to read out of some more, and I think I put the cover on backwards, upside down. I did. <laughs> Alright, so, so this is The Undesired. This is a Swedish author. I can't say her last name. I think her first name is Irsa. And then I can't pronounce that uh, last name. I do apologize for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Undesired, this is a horror style book. Something goes on in a juvenile um, detention center uh, in the past and then it sounds like it's going to start happening again in the present. I've already started, it's yesterday or the day before, I think it was Friday, Mario on page 6, I've read the prologue and I started into chapter 1. So it has actually grabbed my attention from the get-go. Uh, there's a whole scene in a garage with a man and his daughter and I'll leave it at that. Um, but it caught my attention, held it. And I want to continue on with it. So I'd like to at least read through chapter one, maybe, because these chapters are a little bit longer. I'd like to at least get through chapter two. So maybe get to page 25, which is the start of chapter three. Yes, I have enjoyed what I've read so far. It has caught my attention, and I'm ready to continue on it. Um, if you notice, I did not. I do not have The Mansion or The Lost Puzzler. I have decided, like I said, to um, DNF The Lost Puzzler in The Mansion. The Mansion, I think I'm just going to go on and declutter. I did not get on with the author's writing style, so I don't think I'm going to pick it up even later. Uh, it just is very dry, very boring, very ranty for no really reason, and that just didn't appeal to me. And like I said, the plot wasn't really moving. It was just sitting here with this character ranting about how much he hated the other character. So that just didn't appeal to me. So it's DNF and will be decluttered in a future declutter video. And then like I said, once uh, Goodwill or someone like that is accepting books, they're going to go out of my house. Um, the Lost Puzzler, I can see potentially wanting to read it, but right now with the Well of Ascension, um, and that whole Miss Bourne series, I'm more into reading that fantasy style versus that sci-fi slash fantasy, um, The Lost Puzzler. So I think it's just too much fantasy right now together that it just didn't appeal to me um, with some of the issues that I was having with it that I've talked about in uh, previous vlogs. So potentially I will pick that one up later in the year once I'm through some of my other books that I am looking forward to reading a little bit more um, but I could foresee me picking it up later because what I've read is kind of intriguing but not enough right now where I'm at in my reading preferences at the moment so I'm going to put it on hold I can force like I said foresee me picking it up again at a later time at a better time so those are kind of my reading goals at the moment. Um, I hope you get, like I said, hope you guys are having a great morning. And until my next check-in, have a great one.
Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you guys have had a fantastic Friday. It has been a very chill day. I've enjoyed this downtime. I will tell you it took over 12 hours to get my vlog up and ready for you guys for Saturday. Over 12 plus hours. I know I started at least 8 o'clock, if not at 7.30 this morning, getting it started and going. Cannot believe a less than 56 minute video took 12 plus hours to upload. That just blows my mind. If you guys have any tips, tricks, or anything to help with that, I would gladly, gladly want to know down below. And then I may have to call my service provider and see if they have a better uh, upload speed because my streaming, fine, no problems with that, no glitches, no lag or anything like that. But oh my god, the upload speed has dramatically gone down and it's taken forever to get anything to go up. But I will say I didn't get an error message, so that is a plus. Um, so no problems on that. It just took that long to actually get it to go up. So enough uh, ranting about that. Um, it went up. It's ready for you guys to see at 10 o'clock. Um, again, you'll watch it before this one goes up. But just to let you guys know what I'm experiencing today. So as far as my reading goals, I made and finished the part one that I talked about wanting to finish by the end of the weekend. Got it done. I uh, read from chapter 8 through 13. So managed to do that. So my next goal is just continuing on. I think part two is fairly lengthy. It goes from chapter 14 through chapter 33. So this one is a much longer set of chapters. So reading four or five chapters maybe as a goal tomorrow or more. Again, I love the story. Everything is keeping me invested in all of the characters. Um, and I can't wait to see what goes on and see what uh, transpires as this story continues. So yes, so there is that goal. Met, check off that one. Yay, go me. And then I actually got this book up, uh, the cover on right this go around. Um, we'll see if I continue to put the cover on or not. We shall see. But the undesired, it is still progressing um, fairly decently. Uh, the chapters are getting a little bit longer. I'm not minding that after um, reading out of the fantasy books from Brandon Sanderson. I'm getting used to that again. The action is going. The plot is progressing. It's not just dwelling on one person's internal thoughts like the mansion did. That's why it ended up DNFing that one. But this one, um, I'm enjoying it. He is taking over a case. I'm not sure if he's police. I, I may have to go back and reread that part. But he's taking over a case where a co-worker had just recently had a heart attack um, and getting some foreshadowing from another person saying that you need to stay away from this. Um, I think that's partly what contributed to um, the death of the previous person that worked the case. I will say I'm having a hard time, but yeah, I think it's Croker is how I say it. The names and the names of places, they're all Swedish, so it's kind of hard for me to talk or pronounce them in my head or out loud. Uh, so it makes it a little bit more challenging of a read, but I'm doing the best I can. There is a, a pronunciation guide on one of the pages at the beginning that can, yeah. So a list of characters' names and how to say it. That gets a little repetitive going back and forth. My mind has picked up a few of them, so I'm not having to flip out as often. But anytime a new character has been introduced, I ended up you having to flip back to try to figure out what is the actual pronunciation for that character. So I'm working on that. So yeah. But otherwise, yeah, a lot of things are going on. Um, it does seem to be kind of a split you're in the present um, and then you go to to the past but with this one when you go to the past it tells you the year uh, yeah so it lets you know the year and when it went to the past I think Dallas I think is how you say her name Ad Aldous I think is how you say her name 
Uh, she's a worker at the detention center, um, cleaning up, you know, making beds and dishes and that type of thing. Um, but she's got weird feelings about, um, she like has nightmares of the boys standing over her while she's sleeping and uh, just this feeling of wrongness and badness and darkness um, going on there. So, um, so I'm going to read a little bit more when I go to lay down in just a few minutes and see what else takes place. I may shoot myself in the fit because it's going to be kind of a scary book, I think. So we'll see if I stick myself as I'm reading it. But yeah, so I did meet the goal of getting to chapter 3, which is page 25. So maybe read um, chapter, 20, uh, chapter 3 tonight, or at least part of it, before I call it quits. But yeah, and then continuing on tomorrow, maybe read through chapter 5 to get to chapter 6, something like that, for that book. So yeah, that's kind of my goals and how today went. It's been a pajama day all day. I've not had anywhere to go. I don't foresee myself really having I don't have any errands again Sunday after a walk. I think I'll actually have the energy to do a walk. Go do a walk this Sunday and I then do anything that I need at Walmart. If I need anything at Walmart, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. So I may skip that trip. Um, that would be the only thing I would think I would need to do. Um, only thing I think I would need to do is be a, do a run there um, for any odds and ends that um, I didn't get through um, my um, home chef in Daily Harvest. So we'll see. Um, I did do a, I think it was a goat, goat cheese encrusted uh, steak tonight with asparagus. That was delicious. Um, and I have another serving tomorrow, so that'll be my lunch. And I'll try another of the meals. They seem to be easy to put together. So yeah, I'm looking forward to eating this week's meals. So, but yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic night. Um, I'm gonna call it quits so I'll stop rambling and uh, get my thoughts all scattered. And until my, tomorrow's check-in, I hope you guys have a great night. Bye. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I don't know what exactly went on this morning. I didn't film my normal morning um, routine. I've just been out of it. Um, I have made some goals on my reading. Um, I did not do a progress check-in, which is probably why I just didn't think about filming this morning. I, I took the entire week off because, I, like I told you in last weekend's vlog, <clears throat> that I have been feeling off, had a lot of headaches and things and just was not as motivated so I did take that week off so I didn't do measurements or anything like that um, because I probably would have gained weight versus losing weight and inches wouldn't have really changed so taking the week off I'm hoping to start back tomorrow doing um, my walk and then doing week six which is what I'm supposed to have done this last week um, get it done this upcoming week. I feel better um, as long as everything continues to go in the right way and then I'll continue on with my journey and that's going to happen. Things are going to come up. Um, I don't know if I was trying to get a sinus infection or what was causing all the headaches but it is what it is so we're moving on uh, going forward and all of that. Alright, so like I said on Friday's vlog, I did finish part one and I'm in part two. It started on chapter 14 and later today I'll start into chapter 17. So that's about three chapters I've read so far this morning. So I'm happy with my progress so far with this book. So yeah, that's going really well. Uh, for this book, so I'm excited about that. See what's going to go on. All right, and then my other book, I did put the dust jacket back on. Um, so the undesired, I have read a couple more chapters. I read, I believe, chapter three and four, and I should be starting chapter five. Yes, starting chapter five again later today, and see what progress I can make on it. Uh, again, it's still holding my interest. I'm learning a little bit of fragments here and there. Um, the main male character, which is who the protagonist of the story is, he's not a very good man. At least he was not in the relationship 
that he was in. Um, it talks some bad things that he did. He wasn't a very stand-up guy, that type of thing. Uh, so in relationship-wise, not a great man, um, but he seems to have a pretty good work ethic, so he may be, end up being kind of more and more of a great type of person. I'm not really sure. So we'll see what goes on with that. And he's still getting these weird vibes in his daily life since he has agreed to take on this case. Um, and his daughter feels equally as weirded out by things because they went to his apartment and ended up finding a window open and they're like on the second floor. So how that happened type of thing. So, and then we've gotten a little bit more information in the past. So it's kind of flashbacks and then present and seeing how it's all being woven together. <clears throat> so that is interesting so far. So this author has done the flashback past time done well, where the puzzle is very choppy and not smooth. So we'll see. I'm enjoying it so far and I hope it continues to be that way. So I'm excited about that. I'm hoping later on to do some filming outside of the blogging. Um, haven't done it yet, which is what I was trying to set a schedule for myself. It didn't work. Um, so we're hopefully by the end of the day, I'll pep up some um, to do the two videos that I need to have ready to go for next th uh, Tuesday and Thursday. They're two update videos for my Romance Opoly and my TBR project that I'm doing this year. Um, so yeah, so I got to get those filmed. That shouldn't take me too terribly long because I don't have as many books as the first check-in that I had. But it's been kind of a weird few months. I try to do quarterly updates for about every three months. But I'm happy with the progress I've made. So it's all good and all of that. So I need to do that. And I'm pretty much the rest of the day just reading and enjoying the downtime. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday. And until my next check-in tonight, I hope you have a good one. Bye! Well, good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday evening. I hope you are doing well. It's been a kind of a chill day. I'll go and tell you I did not do any filming today. I'm just not feeling it. Um, I did do a lot of work with my caravan reading group or the Discord group run by the caravan app. Uh, so I did do a lot of work on that, um, talking with people, um, getting their feedback, learning a lot of different techniques on it and all of that so I have a whole albums albums folder <laughs> if I can speak tonight on my phone um, as kind of a cheat sheet if later down the road I forget how to do something I have those saved now so that's awesome and the group seems to be very cohesive at the moment um, they're talking they're asking questions um, all of that before we're getting started. So this has been a good get to kind of know me time right now leading up to July 4th. So that has been going really good. Um, they're very helpful to one another, very welcoming so far. And I hope it continues as we, as we get into the book. Uh, so that is a huge positive um, versus from my last vlog of what went on on that. But we're not going to go back to the negative. So, reading goals wise, um, I did continue on, continue on with the Hero of Ages. I stopped, I think the last time I was on chapter 16, um, and I'm now um, starting at the start of chapter 23. So I read several more chapters out of this particular book. So, oh, it's so good. I know I say that all the time, but I generally, generally love this story. But yeah, so this is going really well. I'm enjoying what's going on. I'm kind of worried about several characters and what's going on with them. I'm hoping something's going to turn around and I hope this author is not going to be shredding my heart and all my emotions. Because um, some things are being set up, I think, that are not going to be so positive. But we're going to keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best for these characters. Where they're... So, yeah. Alright, I did not read any more out of The Undesired. I am on uh, Chapter 5, so that's where I had left off previously. So I didn't get any more read out of it. I may start with this one tomorrow before I spend all my time on the other book. So my goal and my plan to 
tomorrow is to go for a walk, get back in that routine again, and then come back, um, do my filming, because I need to do those while I eat breakfast, and then I'll strike it. Eat breakfast, go for my walk, do my filming, start my editing process. That is my goal, and then when I can get some work done, then I can set myself down to read. Otherwise, all I'm going to do, like today, is all I did was read my books, which is not a bad way to spend your day between that, um, working the social media aspects to promote, you know, the channel, and start talking with people, and all of that type of thing. So that's kind of where my work part has gone on is with the caravan out and you know responding to people on Instagram um, and off of Twitter as well. So that is kind of where I'm at right now. So it's been a pretty good day. I've enjoyed it. It's very uh, chill. I like those kind of days where I'm not having to do a ton of running around here, there, and everywhere. Um, so yeah, so that is kind of what we're doing. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday night, and until tomorrow's check-in, I hope you guys have a great one. Good night. Well, good morning. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm actually feeling pretty good this morning. I have more energy than I've had in quite a while. Um, so apparently I have been rejuvenated. Finally, it took a week a little over a week to get back to normal feeling. Uh, so I was researching or flipping through social media and I came across um, what metabolic renewal program. I'm going to test it out as one of the cheaper options um, for a health system I've ever seen. So I'm going to test it out and see what I think of it. Their workouts are about 15 minutes, three times a week. And then you walk for about an hour, which is what I do anyways on the off days. I may try doing yoga or something else along those lines as well um, on the off days to switch some things up. We'll see how that goes. Um, so we'll see what I think of this program because right now my body is holding on to everything. It's not wanting to lose weight. I'm exhausted all the time. And some of the things they talk about is your hormones can make you tired um, when they start becoming imbalanced. Um, and being extremely tired, sluggish, having a lot of weight in your middle, um, they typed me when I did the quiz as hormonal type, hormone type 2, which is hormone overload. Um, I do take birth control to... Uh, regulate my cycle um, to put me in balance because before I went on it, it my emo emotions shifted so fast and so drastically and so extremely that I literally I could not function so I, I still remember it and my best friend uh, remembers it as well um, it was my first year first maybe second year of teaching and a principal asked for a document. I couldn't find, I literally sat in the floor crying, panicking because I could not find this one document. And I think it was right before we were going on break. It was horrible. Um, so I finally went on birth control, find, found one that actually worked to regulate my hormones, and now I'm pretty balanced. I do still have extreme irritability, extreme emotional changes going into my cycle, but they are not to the extreme where I was prior to birth control. So I am going to try this and see what I think of it. It does come with um, both physical and online copies, which is what I ordered. You could also do just straight online, but I like having both options. So that I have the physical here at the house if I want it, but if I go somewhere, I can take the program with me and still be successful. So I kind of like that option. They did, I wasn't too happy with the process of trying to or, order it. It was very involved. It took way longer than I thought it would because you had like three different bonus options and you had to pretty much watch the videos for all of them before you could opt out. And they were pretty pricey, so I opted out not made of money so the program itself is a I bought that but I didn't do like their kind of basically fat burner it sounded like they had 
and two or three other bonus options that you could add on to your order. Um, yes, you can get it for a cheaper price, but after that price is over, it, it jacks up to the original and I just, I can't afford that. Um, so we're going to see what the baseline program does. There's within four phases, I think each phase is three weeks. So we will see um, if the workouts work, because um, what I understand them to be is you go as hard and as fast and intense, whoops, Oh, sorry, there, there go. So you go as hard as you can in them. You're not pacing yourself in the workouts. You just push, 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 push. And then when you do your rest, that's when you rest. So it kind of sounds like high intensity, but I'm not really sure. Like I said, I'll let you guys know in my next weekend vlog because I will have done it for a week. I'm going to do the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There are only 15 minutes. And I think there's a five minute burnout exercise they talk about at the end. So I'll try that and see how that goes. This sounds, if it works, more sustainable than what I have been doing. Uh, so we will see if I get any results. I still have my measurements from, will be then two weeks ago um, when I was in week five of the, pro, of the other program. My body just cannot handle that intensity anymore. Um, so I'm hoping with this it will be sustainable. I will see results. I've got my other foods that I'm eating, so hopefully that will translate um, into it. So I may look at their food plan and see how I can make it work with what I have now. And on the weeks that I don't enjoy whatever it is on the Home Chef, then I may sub in those meals. We'll see. So it's all trial and error, and once maybe I get some of this weight off, and I'm feeling better, feeling more energized, because I know in the last two, three different programs I've done, the reasons ultimately I end up stopping is because I just get so drained, so exhausted, that I can't really function. I mean, I was getting up at four o'clock in the morning to do these workouts, to then have time to get up and uh, ready and get to work. And I can do it for a while, but by January, February, I'm completely burned out and my body's had enough. And that's usually when, um, cause my immune system, once you exhaust yourself so much, your immune system goes down and bam, that's when I get sick. Um, February, March in this last year, I ended up with pneumonia for the first time in multiple years. So we're going to see, I'll take you along with me, let you uh, see my progress that I'm making or the lack thereof, depending on, hopefully we're not going to have the lack thereof. We're going to hope for, you know, good, good results um, by trying out a new program, something my body has never done, um, and see what we do. So that is my goal for that. I'm going on my walk, but I'm not going to do you know, extreme walking. Um, they just say a casual good walk um, pace um, in order to do right. Um, and you don't have to do these extreme uh, on your rest days, extreme workouts, pushing yourself. All right, so there's that. I'm going to do that. Reading goals. I would like to read five, at least five chapters or more today out of this book. I think I averaged out nine chapters yesterday, but I've got to do my work. What is what I talked about yesterday? So at least five chapters here, at least two chapters out of The Undesired. I did not read anymore last night. I literally went to bed. I flipped through some media for a little bit and then I conked out. I was exhausted. So at least two more chapters out of this book, about five chapters out of this book. And then my other goals after I did my walk, if I'm not too icky sweaty, I will go on and do my uh, filming that I want to do or I may get cleaned up and all of that and then film. Just depends on what type of shape I'm in. Um, after I get done with my walk. But those are um, what I'm working on, what I am going to strive for. And until my next check-in, I hope you guys have a fantastic morning. Hello everyone, happy Sunday evening. I hope you guys have had a fantastic day. I have not made any of my goals. I did not film and I did not read out of either of my books. 
Um, but what I did do was read all of the book that came with the online version of my new program. I did read up on that and all of the things that I need to do for that. So that's where I spent my time to get ready to start tomorrow with the workouts. So that is kind of where my energy went to. So I'm hoping now that I have kind of a baseline knowledge of it that I can go in and start crushing it uh, tomorrow. So that will be awesome. Hopefully it's not going to rain tomorrow. So after I do the workout that's uh, set for me tomorrow, I can then do the casual walk um, that it asks to do um, afterwards. Um, again, just to keep me moving. My goal this week, every day, is I'm going to try to hit, to hit 12,000 steps in order, uh, so that's kind of my goal that I want to do every day, um, and see that eventually I want to get it back up to the 15,000 steps that I do during the school year, so that I can start really seeing a difference. Summertime, I'm least active because I'll do my workouts, and then I'm sedentary for pretty much the rest of the day, every day. So I don't lose or I tend to gain. So we're hoping, you know, tweaking things here and there, um, kind of following the structure of the plan, I will start seeing some results and I can get back on track the way I want to. Because right now, this last five, six weeks, um, I've bested my tail working on my food intake and not really seeing any type of results. So that was very, very frustrating and uh, kind of uh, demotivates you uh, to make you not motivated to continue if you're you know, doing everything that you're supposed to and not seeing results. So this program is supposed to be um, meeting those you know, and helping you go through that process to um, break through the plateaus and get you going the way you're supposed to go. We shall see how well this works. Um, again, it was like $39 or whatever to get the physical part and the online together. So that is what I'm going to do. So it'll be easier once I get the DVDs, but I'm going to try to hopefully figure out the computer to the television thing. I know I used to be able to do it with this television. We're hoping I can figure it out again. Uh, so I can do the workouts and not have to look at a uh, very small screen. So, so we're going to make it work until it gets here with the DVDs. And we're going to do that. So tomorrow's plan is to do my filming. So I, have it. I need to do a video for Tuesday. I need to do a video for Thursday. And then Friday I start vlogging again. So that is kind of my goal for this week. Again, I want to continue reading. Excuse me, reading out of my books and just enjoying <coughs> enjoying life and working on my health goals. So, anyways, um, that's kind of going to kind of wrap it up for this vlog. And until my next one, I hope you guys have a fantastic night. Good night.